I violated the safety rules. I did not look to see that the switch was, you know, visually open. Didn't have my tick tracer. Didn't do a zero energy check. There's no one to blame but myself. Done this a thousand times. I've been an electrician for 20 years. I don't, I didn't need to, to wear my gear that day. I guess I was too, too good for it. What makes us as workers choose to violate basic rules and regulations that are designed to protect us? Complacency, being rushed, pressure, maybe an argument at home with a loved one, maybe an argument with a coworker. All those are other reasons, and they can have disastrous effects on our day at work. I've studied human performance over the decades in my career, and I've discovered that there's really three dominant perspectives that will approach either a task or a problem or even a relationship. It's either based upon our skills, based upon our knowledge, or some rule. If it's based upon our skills, it becomes so automatic, almost like taking a drink of water. If it's based upon our knowledge, our knowledge could be limited and we may not be able to recognize the hazards that exist or even know when to ask for help. And if it's based upon rules, the rules alone bring balance to the other two, but the rules alone cannot give us the safe practices themselves. A good way to illustrate this would be to think of the familiar fire triangle, where the mix of heat and fuel and oxygen produce the flame that we're looking for. When this mix gets out of balance, we either lose the flame or only bad things are gonna happen. There's been an explosion. There's a worker, oh my God, he's on fire. I tried to talk to him, but he said something like, I really messed up now. Oh honey, I really, really messed up. Mark, good to see you again. Good to see you. Um, take me back to that day in 1983. I had been up all night, which of course made me very tired and not alert. I was working by myself, not having a good meter with me that it was broken. But I thought, well, I don't need to get near the 13.8 KV bus. I can just work on the door. That was the time when the contractor pulled up. When I went back to the switch after he left, I remember him driving off and thinking I don't have to deal with this guy again at the end of the week. And next thing I knew was just go over there and open the door. But I had forgotten I did not look inside to verify the blades were open. I was going to drill two holes on the door, mount my relays, move to the next switch and, and on down the line. I, I don't even remember plugging in the drill. And when you get close enough to 13,800 volts, it's going to use you as a path to ground. I became that path, caused an arc blast, which blew me away from the switch gear. The life cycle of your arc flash in real time, one 250th of a single second is what changed your whole future. That quarter of a cycle or one 250th of a second changed my life forever. I told my wife once before we got married that as long as I had these, we would have money. Well, I almost didn't have these. I almost lost my life altogether because I wasn't wearing the protection. Being safe is a lot easier than putting yourself through and your friends through and your family through what my family and I and my dad had to go through. It's just easier to put on your safety equipment. I cannot feel my finger. And feeling will never come back. On that area, and I cannot feel it. But what's even more tragic to me is if somebody was touching me, a loved one, your wife, your child. You'll never feel that again. You'll never feel it.